Ah. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. If you guys are new, I talk about credit cards, travel hacks, and entrepreneurship. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can triple your American Express credit limit. Now, this video does not exist on YouTube, but it is a very hot topic over on the FICO forum. So I want to be presenting to you guys this information to help out anyone I can. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what exactly is tripling your credit line increase with American Express and how you can do it, what the guidelines are, should you do it, why it's important. We're going to go over all the basis and then my personal recommendation to you guys at the end of the video like always on what you should do when tripling your American Express credit limit. Now let's get straight into it you guys. American Express is one of the best companies out there to actually get started out with. If you know Chase right now isn't really accepting that many applicants. There are people who don't have a large credit history and Chase is just denying them right off the bat. American Express is one of the few companies out there right now that give out pretty generous credit limit increases. They start you off not that big but this hack is really for the people that are getting started out with American Express or maybe you've been with them for a while and you just had no idea about this hack but basically Chase right now which is American Express's kind of rival they're not so lenient in giving out new applicants uh, credit cards and American Express has been doing that now the 3x credit limit increase is as simple as it sounds it literally increases your credit limit by three times and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this exactly but let's talk more about why this is important now if you guys didn't know credit utilization which is how much you utilize that credit card is one of the most important factors of deciding what your credit score is going to be now FICO which is generally one of the bigger credit card bureaus that actually report your credit score to other companies and other banks really take this very seriously now if you have a lower credit card utilization that directly correlates to a higher score. Your utilization accounts for about 35% of what your credit score is. Yeah, the rest of that 65% is basically other things like how many credit cards you have open, hard pulls, derogatory marks, your length, your age, how many cards you have open. It takes into account the other factors, but the 35% is still a pretty significant amount. So say you don't have the best credit score right now, if you actually decrease your utilization rate by increasing your credit limit, you can actually increase your score as well. Now, another reason why you may want to do a triple credit line increase with American Express is because if you work with other banks and lenders, having a high credit limit with one company actually opens more doors for you when you apply for other companies. So when Chase sees that you have a $15,000 limit with American Express, they're going to be more inclined to accept you and to also give you a higher credit limit with them. Now, I actually made a video just recently. I don't know how I'm going to plan the scheduling for these videos, but I talked about some of the advantages and disadvantages of increasing or decreasing your credit limit and there are some pros and cons but it really depends on who you are what type of person you are and how you treat your actual credit but most importantly this is gonna help everyone I mean generally this should help everyone now if you guys were to get a credit limit increase is this a guarantee for everyone it's not not everyone is gonna be accepted for the 3x credit line increase but a majority of the people actually are it just depends on how long you've had that card open for we're gonna be talking about the six month cooldown rule and it also depends on another factor which is literally how you treat your credit if you're not paying off your amount they're not gonna accept you for a credit line increase but I know that a majority of my viewers that do watch these type of videos pay their credit card off on time so it's gonna help out the people that do do that now another way to figure out whether you're eligible for this is to figure out where when you open that credit card with American Express now there's two ways to do this if you actually open your account you can see under recent charges a date and it'll tell you that exact month and date when that credit card was open uh, that's on your account and I think that's another easy way to doing it um, other than calling them and asking them what it is another way is to just chat with them online and ask them if you can't figure out any of this which is pretty straightforward just asking them hey when was my account open have I been open for six months if you ask that they can help you out no problem another way which is more of a harder way I don't know why someone would go this way but you can actually check out your TransUnion or Equifax credit report and then from there you can actually see when American Express had opened that account because the reason why you guys actually need to know the account date of when it's open is because to get that triple credit line increase is because you need to wait 60 days it's better to do 61 days so 
61 days is the exact amount of days you want to wait until you actually open that credit card to request a credit limit increase. Now, there are some exceptions, like American Express isn't super strict on this rule. There have been reports of other users that were actually getting this triple credit limit increase before those 61 days, so your miles may vary. Some people actually get that credit limit increase on the day that they get approved. So they're not super strict on the 60 day rule, but if I were to play it more safe and just not have to worry about getting denied for anything, because I don't really need one. I would just wait the 60 days just so you know that you're in the safe zone. Now the fastest and easiest way to actually get this credit limit increase is as simple as just calling the number on the back of the card and usually the speed dial is like number four or number five that they tell you to hit if you're trying to do a credit limit increase but just doing that is really like the easiest way of doing it. Another way to actually increase your credit limit is to go on the website and, and under account management on the bottom you'll see increase my line of credit and when you do this the most important thing you need to do is request three times of what you're expecting now the 3x is kind of like the general rule in the credit card world and the reason why it's a 3x is because that's as far as you can push in getting that credit limit increase during that time so it's unlikely you're gonna get a 4x or even a 5x but a 3x has been reported to be like the max with American Express so when you do it you're literally multiplying it by three it literally your miles may vary like who you are or how much your credit limit actually is but for example just to make this easier if you have a thousand dollar credit limit for one of the American Express cards you can bump that up to three thousand say after you do a 3000 triple credit line increase. Another thing you want to take into account is the cool down rule. So you can't do this more than every six months and you can't do this on personal and business cards. Literally, you can do this once for one card. What you can do afterwards is actually transfer your credit line limit to other cards. But what I would recommend for someone who's trying to actually increase it a lot is get a card that's already been open for over two months. And what you guys want to do is find the card with the highest limit. So say I have the American Express green card or the American Express plum card and one of them is at $1,000 and the other one is at $10,000. You can triple X the $10,000 one, get it to 30 k and then spread it out amongst your other cards. Now, that's another method I'll go into future videos with how you can actually transfer your credit limit among other cards, but this is really the way you want to take about this because there is that cooldown rule that you want to take account of and every six months is the minimum before you can do another credit limit increase. Now, after that six months is up, you can actually do another triple American Express credit line increase. And a lot of users have done this. So there are people who actually went from $1,000 to $3,000 to $9,000 to $18,000 within a span of about a year and a half to two years. You can keep bumping it up after those six months and there really isn't an issue with that. But like I said, your miles may vary between who you are, how much you make and what your income is and how well you pay off your credit score. I'm sorry, how much you pay off your credit cards. Now, say you're a little antsy and you, you just actually applied for a credit limit increase, but that 60 day rule didn't go up like you applied before 60 days, what you're gonna get is a letter in the mail saying you're just ineligible. It's not gonna affect you in any negative way. Literally just wait until that original date, which is the correct date, uh, whether you did a new card in the 60 days or if you already did a previous credit limit increase, wait that six month cool down period and then just do it again in the future. Here are a few guidelines that you also need to understand when you're going for this method. So if American Express doesn't approve that 3x credit limit increase, for whatever reason, maybe you have a already high utilization rate or maybe you've just had a bad history with American Express, what they're gonna do is either deny you or they're gonna give you another counter offer to what that credit limit increase is. Now, if you guys have had a good time with your credit cards, if you have a good score and they give you a counter offer, it's up to you whether or not you should take it because in my opinion, I wouldn't take that counter offer. I would just reapply and see if I get that triple credit limit increase because once you take that offer, you still have to wait that six month cooldown period and for me if I want something um, I'm gonna try and get it now guys this video was pretty straightforward this is the American Express triple credit line increase and the American Express cooldown method that I wanted to teach you guys about if I see any other youtubers using my slang or my terminology y'all better credit me talking to you I love you Shifu I'm talking to you Sebi I'm watching you all right
Uh, but anyone else, it's cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys actually found this video pretty useful. I know there's a lot of people who don't know much about credit line increases. American Express is one of the companies that offer you three times more, you guys, and that can be extremely valuable for anyone who's getting into the credit card game and really just want to step things up. Now, the most important thing to note is you don't have much to lose when you're doing this method, but you have a ton to gain out of it. So that's why I believe the risk versus reward ratio in this is pretty damn good and it's very applicable to a lot of people. Um, something that I made a video about, which is going to go up soon as well, is the American Express gift card credit hack and the airline credit hack. That the risk versus reward is kind of getting to this level. It's very risky and the reward is, is good, but it's getting risky. So this is one of those things where the risk is going down. The reward is pretty good. Now, this method has worked for hundreds, if not thousands of people online. And if you guys are waiting to do this, or if you guys have done this already, make sure you let us know down below in the comments. I'm very curious on what your experience has been with American Express. So far from everyone's comments I've heard is American Express is good. They've done what I've asked them to do. Their customer support is really good and it's so funny if you actually google a lot of credit card companies and see what their bbb score is and like which is their better bureau of beer their bb score if you look at what that is online it's pretty funny because a lot of people hate on credit card companies but these are the ones that have high interest rates and are just shooting themselves in the foot but when i ask people in this community everyone gives out good responses because overall these companies do a good job and if you're paying off your credit card in time there's nothing you really need to worry about but yeah guys let me know down below your comments and your thoughts if you stay till the end of this video if you have not yet joined our facebook group the credit card churners we're at like 600 plus members right now now, be sure to do so we're trying to hit a thousand members in that group and everyone's so helpful everyone's helping each other out occasionally there's some weird mofos in there and I just boot them out of there but for the most part it's really helpful you guys are gonna learn a lot from there if you want to follow me on Instagram make sure you do it's b.jungg so b.jung all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a comment send me a DM join the Facebook group do what you guys have to do but also stay moving you guys read some books go hit the gym drink some water I know this is a credit card channel but I I really want to give out as much help as I can to the universe to the people and that's just some of the things I do so guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one peace